Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine video. This is the first video I'm doing in Unreal Engine 5.2, which was released very recently, and you can download it now on the Epic Games launcher. So today we're going to be looking at Project Hillside, which is a sample project Epic Games have released in the past couple days, which we can take a look at and see it in 5.2, and today I'm going to be just kind of exploring the project and flying around it and showing off a bit. So Project Hillside is an Unreal Engine architectural sample project developed by Epic Games, Safety Architects and Neoscape that showcases mostly Safety's original unbuilt architectural design proposal as well as the existing building Habitat 67. Sorry if I mispronounce any of those names by the way. This sample project is perfect for seeing how Unreal Engine's state-of-the-art ArcVis techniques can be applied to large-scale visualization projects. It utilizes many of the new UE 5.2 rendering features like Nanite, Lumen, Path Tracing, Virtual Shadow Maps and many others, all of which work right out of the box. So essentially this is just a great way for us to see what 5.2 is capable of by the people who have made themselves. And this is also an example of Unreal Engine being used for something other than games, as obviously Unreal Engine is used for games, arc viz, films, animations, it's used for absolutely everything, and this is a good showcase of that. So let's just have a quick fly around. So as you can see, we're here outside, in the outside level at the moment, so LV exterior, and you have all of these interesting architectural designs, which you see here, as again, that is what this project is for. And this looks really, really interesting. You can really see all of this great detail. This map is absolutely huge. So let me press F11 to go full screen. You can really see the full scale of this absolutely massive map. So we can go around and see all of this here. All of this is fully explorable. Now if I were to go back in down here, what you can see is something else they've used which is really cool, which isn't unique to 5.2, but it's used in a lot of games, which is very, very good, is you can see all of these individual rooms are modeled. That's not actually true. So you go to this room here, you see it looks like a bedroom. You can look around inside of it. If you go into it, it's actually an unlit, unmodeled room, as you can perfectly see here. It's just they have them on the windows, which they use in a lot of games, just to save on resources, so they don't have to model the entire room and the entirety of buildings. They can just do something like this, which is really, really cool. And again, that's not unique to 5.2. It's nothing special nowadays. They've been doing this in games for years and years. It's just something a lot of people don't know about, which I wanted to point out. So let's just have another look, fly around. So you can see all the different detail we have in here. Again, this map is absolutely massive. You can also just see the reflection. So this is Lumen in action and probably the path tracing as well. So you can see the reflections on this grass roof and kind of the water down there as well. So if we're going closer, I believe this is water anyway. Yes, it is. You can see all the reflection of it. Again, this just looks absolutely amazing. This is something which you didn't get really in UE4, but we do now in 5 and obviously it's a lot better in 5.2. And the same with all these different foliage as well. So we can see all of this down here, all the reflections and just the puddles, it looks absolutely fantastic. And what I'm gonna do as well is now we'll have a look at it in Nanite. So obviously there's a lot more to level I've not gone through yet. We'll go through that. But if I go from lit up here down to Nanite visualization, and I go into just overview, what we can see is all these different views here. So this is the normal one and you can see triangles, clusters, instances, all of these here. And if I were to go from overview into triangles, for example, we can see all of this here. So this is all the different nanite triangles in the level. So it even works on all the trees now. So you can see how far it's all broken up. And this is obviously the new replacement for LODs in Unreal Engine 5, and it works really, really well. So I'm currently getting about 15 frames a second. That has dropped by about half since I went into this view though, because uh, obviously it's now obviously showing all these different triangles. But I'm also on epic scalability, so the best apart from cinematic, and this is still running really nicely. So we can see here all of these different triangles inside of this project and you can see them all changing as I'm getting close to them, further away from them. As I'm just moving through the level, you can see them all and again look at the different foliage or the triangles on these trees, how much they are broken up so that this can run as smooth as possible. Let's go from the triangles view into instances for example and you can see the difference once again. This is now just the different colours of the different instances we have in the level. So this is maybe a better view to see all the different meshes and how they're all broken up again. Let's now go out of this and just go back into our lit mode. And this is again, now I'm getting about between 25 and 30, depending on where I look in the level. Obviously if I were to drop down even further to let's say high instead of epic, I'll get another FPS boost, but it obviously won't look as good. So to be fair, that's not made that much of a difference to my FPS to be honest. So I'm just gonna go straight back up to epic anyway. And let's go fly up again and just have a look around. So this is obviously the main section here. 
And I think this is only the bit which has been modeled for use because also if I press G to show things that are not in game view, you can see we have all these different camera tracks here. So a lot of this is all just kind of cinematic setup. You can see how far they go around. I mean, some of these will be splines, obviously not for camera tracks, uh, but obviously again, you can see how much detail has gone into this. So we can go over here. This is obviously, again, not really meant to be over here. So not much is here. And I believe some stuff in this is photo scanned. I'm not sure how much though, because they haven't really said much. If they have, I haven't seen it anyway. But again, this section here, that I'm looking at this kind of, this bit here is the main part for us to explore. Everything else is just there to give a background to the environment and just to make it look a lot nicer. So as we go further over, you can see less and less detail in these. As it obviously doesn't need it, these are just here to make it look more lived in. So we'll go back over to where we actually need to be, what we're actually meant to be looking at. And again, you can just see all the really interesting architectural designs we have in this project. And again, that is what this is for. I feel like I've said that a couple of times now, but this is an ArcViz or Architectural Visualization project. And as I said earlier, this is here to show off Nanite, Lumen, Path Tracing, Virtual Shadow Maps, and many, many other features of Unreal Engine 5.2. I don't believe they've used any of the procedural generation stuff in this as obviously it's not needed this is all modeled and it's here to show off all the other features which is really cool like i say so to be honest i think that might be it where i leave this video because there's not much else to say i just want to have a quick explore around this project and show it to you guys you can obviously download it for yourself as well but again you might need a fairly good pc to run it and it is also around 60 gigabytes so you might not have the storage as well Kind of similar to when the Matrix demo was released, that was about 100 gigabytes. Obviously, you need a very good PC for that as well. This is a slightly smaller version of something like that. But again, it's great. I love how they do release all this stuff for us to look at and just see how it's all done and how they do it. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.